49-year-old Gusen came through at Princes to play his final Open as a regular tour player whilst former Ryder Cup player Oliver Wilson qualified at Knott's Open qualifying roundup. Retife Gusen comes through at Princes the Open final qualifying took place yesterday and 12 spots have been filled for the tournament at Carnoustie this month. Final qualifying took place at four venues across the UK, Princes in Kent, the Renaissance Club in East Lothian, Knott's Hollandwell in Nottinghamshire and St Anne's Old Links in Lancashire. Retife Goosen was the biggest name to come through. The two-time major winner finished at minus one after 36 holes in windy conditions at Princes as just three men finished under par. Related, Goosen controversially not given U.S. Open exemption the 49-year-old shot rounds of 71 and 72 to qualify in the final spot despite bogeying his final hole of the day. I am glad it played tough today as I play better when it is difficult, the South African said. I drove the ball well and my long putting in the wind was good. This will be my last Open as a regular tour player, next year I'll be with the seniors, but I'm looking forward to it. Carnoustie is always tough but I'm sure it will be in great condition. Hopefully, it wouldn't be as windy as today. Tom Lewis, who won the low amateur honors at the 2011 Open, came first by two strokes with rounds of 72 and 68. Lewis won the silver medal at Royal St. George's in 2011. Photo by Warren Little, R. That took place at Royal St. George's, literally next door to Prince's, and Lewis made four birdies in his last eight holes at to seal his spot at Carnoustie. Related Irish Open Preview TV Times Nordic Golf League player Harold or Magnus from Iceland was second at minus two. Prince's qualifiers, Tom Lewis minus 4, 72, 68, Harold or Magnus minus 2, 72, 70, Retype Goosen minus 1, 71, 72, Scottish amateur champion Sam Locke, who is just 19 year old, won at the Renaissance Club with rounds of 69 and 66. Locke is coached by his dad Andrew who is a PGA professional and is mentored by 1999 Carnoustie Open winner Paul Laurie. He works at Paul Laurie Golf Club in the coffee shop and will be celebrating his Open qualification with a shift. Sam Law qualified for the Open today. Tomorrow he has a shift in the coffee shop in the at Paul Laurie. Tears of joy hands clapping hands clapping picked out twitter.com slash cack of hito. The Open at the Open July 3, 2018 former Walker Cup Grant Forrest took the second spot at minus six to qualify for his second Open. England's Thomas Curtis finished in third place to qualify. Curtis' biggest achievement up until then was winning $20,000 in a par-3 tournament on his honeymoon in Bermuda. The Renaissance Club qualifiers, Sam Locke minus 7, 69, 66, Grant Forrest minus 6, 67, 69, Thomas Curtis minus 5, 68, 69. The St. Anne's Old Lynx qualifiers, Jack Sr., left, Marcus Armitage middle, and James Robinson, right. Photo by Tony Marshall, R. James Robinson, who lives in St. Anne's, led the way on 12 under par and challenged her player Jack Sr. tied with European and challenged her player Marcus Armitage two strokes back. It was an emotional day for Armitage who qualified for his first Open at the expense of missing his coach's mum's funeral. I'm a bit overwhelmed, he said. My coach Anthony Sheehy has been very special to me. He lost his mum last week and I couldn't be there for the funeral so this is for him and her. I've tried a lot of times to make it to the Open so it's very special to have done it at last. Related, the Greenbrier Preview, TV Times Robinson, who plays his golf at Southport and Ainsdale, shot a 65 in the afternoon to add to his opening 67. Starting at the 10th in the second round, he finished the back 9 birdie birdie eagle, hitting a 4 iron to 12 inches at 18. St. Anne's Old Links qualifiers, James Robinson minus 12, 65, 67, Marcus Armitage minus 10, 65, 69, Jack Sr. minus 10, 68, 66, 2008, Ryder Cup player Oliver Wilson came through at knots.
photo by Tony Marshall, Getty Images, former Ryder Cup player Oliver Wilson qualified at Nuts Hollandwell in second spot. The Englishman shot 72 in the morning and lost his ball on the first hole in the afternoon, but made an eagle with his second ball to par the sub 400 yard par 4. The 2014 Dunhill Lynx champion will play in his first Open since 2010. I'm pleased. I played really well but it was so bouncy that it was very difficult to get it close, he said. My game is in a better position than it's been for five or six years and this builds the confidence a bit more. This is another little step in the right direction. Ashton Turner was four back after a level par opening round of 72 but a six under par 66 including three birdies and an eagle in his last five holes safely saw him through in first place for his first major start. Reese Enoch, who won this year's Cape Town Open on the Sunshine Tour, was one behind Wilson. Nuts, Hollandwell, qualifiers, Ashton Turner minus 6, 72, 66, Oliver Wilson minus 3, 72, 69, Reese Enoch minus 2, 72, 70. The PGA Tour say there is no clear. The Canadian showed some frustration during the women's, who is going to take home the spoils. The Open takes place at Carnoustie from 19 to 22 Thursday, July. The air 11 places still up for grabs, 4 at this week's Greenbrier, 3 at this week's Irish Open, 3 at next week's Scottish Open, with the final spot awarded to the winner of next week's John Deere Classic.